before this, you were coming from the back doctor, I think. What hurts on you today? Well, I mean, it'd probably be an easier question. I mean, it's your back. I've had back surgery and stuff, and so that means there's a million things. But every morning I go up, it's my, I go up to the clinic and go get worked on, and then I do a routine, and you work out and do that and try and get yourself aligned and activated, elongated, all this fun stuff, and allows me to be active and do the stuff I want and keeps you young. But uh, things are going to happen, they're going to happen, and you just fight like heck. I want to run through some of your injuries over the years and yeah, just get great. like the, the first thing that uh, <laughs> this will be a blast. comes to what? <laughs> Go ahead. In 2014, you broke three bones in your back and you were uh, back, I think, a game and a half later. Yeah, I set out a game, yeah. How do you manage to, you know, when you're in that kind of pain, still get back out? On the field, it just means so much to you. I mean, you're competing. You just want to win, and you just want to help your team win. And you know, if you're the quarterback. It means a lot. You being out there affects a lot of lives, and these games matter a lot. And like I said, everyone, everyone plays through a lot. You fractured clavicle in 2015, or, or a few times, right? Yeah, the clavicle was just one that kept, you know, kind of breaking, and so we finally figured it out. But by that point, I was well on my way to talking like Graham Bensinger. <laughs> uh, the, the fractured vertebrae in 2016 preseason. Nick was telling me at, at that point, you finally got into a point where everything was slowing down. And to what extent do you feel like that when the game had s started to slow down and when you had an idea of what was gonna happen before it happened, that you were entering your best years, but that time kind of got compressed because the body wasn't holding up? Yeah, I mean, you, you'd obviously like for your, all those things to add up in one time frame, but yeah. I'm not sitting here saying, this is the other part, this has happened before people are saying, you know, do you wish, da da da, I'm like, I don't think the good Lord has given me a raw deal in this life. I think I'm very fortunate, I feel very lucky, and no one deserves, you know, some of the really positive stuff. Um, that I've received and I just, it's what makes you wanna just say thank you and give grace toward others. The biggest thing is like, how lucky is it you get to wake up in the morning and be excited? That's such a small thing, but I'm like, that really is a great gift if anybody has that, that you're actually excited to get up out of bed and go do something or try something. That's what throwing the football was like for me, like trying to figure out how to improve, how to figure out how to beat this team this week. These were really enjoyable things to wake up and do. and. Um, yeah, you know, they just shifted, but it's like, man, I, I have these joys and they're really special and I feel like that's a gift. It really is that I don't want, want to ever take for granted. 2016, um, you're out. Dak wins eight straight games. Um, how did you find out that when you came back in week 11, you weren't going to be the starter anymore? Well, I think, like, anybody's winning that many games, their team was playing so well, I mean, that's... I mean, it's kind of what will always happen. I mean, you just don't mess with that kind of success. And, you know, it's, football is not really about any individual, but yet we all want to be the best, and you all want to be, you know, one of the major reasons that you guys are winning and being great. But, um, you know, as you become a dad and you kind of get older, you can also see there's multiple sides. I mean, there's, it's just not about me. It's about so many more people. And, uh, but I just feel like when your team's playing well and everyone's playing really good football, um, that's just, that's just, it's a team sport. It's not about an individual. I was that kid once. Stepping in, having to prove yourself. I remember the feeling like it was yesterday. It really is an incredible time in your life. And if I remember one thing from back then, it's, it's the people that helped me along when I was young. And if I can be that to Dak, you know, I've tried to be, and I will be going forward. The, the speech that you gave, your parents said when they were watching it that they were both crying. Uh, you used terms like soul crushing and a dark place. Why was it important to you 
to say what you said there? Well, there's multiple reasons. I think one is just an opportunity for kids. You know, you think about how many kids out there want to play and start and, you know, be the best. And sometimes you have a setback or things don't go your way. And, um, you know, like I said, being a dad, you kind of hope sometimes they handle things a certain way. And uh, sometimes it's better to try and live it than just tell them sometimes. And I felt like I could, I could just help, you know, some kids out there are just going through it.